the best Tejano classics in the world. The Tejano Classic Radio Show. It's the Tejano Classic Radio Show. Bobby Lopez, Saki Gracias, mi compadre Bob Prado is again on assignment in the hot seat. It's Robert Rivas and Robert Rivas, no... Uh, no stranger to the microphone, Robert. How are you doing, man? Doing great, Bobby. How about yourself? Oh yes, uh, I remember way back in the day, man. You were just spinning your heart out and a uh, little DJing at this place called Tea Town in San Antonio, Texas. Definitely, it's the <laughs> Tea Town back in the the memorable Tea Town years. It's the digo the Tejano years. Uh, back in the 90s when Tejano was, was sizzling. It was king. It was definitely king. Oh, yes, and I can remember the times that uh, this this was really kind of unusual. Okay, Prado was working at KXCN. He was programming and operations manager, i.e. And then I was programming K Rio. Remember the K Rio days? Definitely. And uh, so we were actually competing against each other, and we would always compete también to get to who the heck was going to be emceeing at T-Town. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, um, <laughs> I remember those days and even, uh, you can't forget, KEDA got thrown in the oh, mix there a little yeah, bit man. too. And uh, KEDA, now the end of an era is uh, all gone, but uh, they're saying that, uh, you know, uh, another era is on its way, so we'll see what happens there, man. Definitely. Oh yeah, so what do you remember most about T-Town? Now, now, now give us a location for those of you, for those listening in uh, out of San Antonio. It, uh, I remember it being on San Pedro near North Star Mall on a hill for them. Exactly. Actually, it sounds kind of like the promo I used to do because every <laughs> evening, about 1.30 in the morning, I'd have to go into the office and cut the promo for the next day. Uh-huh. And, oh, uh, heck yeah. T-Town was 7011 San Pedro, about a quarter of a mile inside Loop 410, and we always sat on top of the hill. You couldn't miss it. Oh, wow, man. I mean, but... And it was kind of a unique place. A lot of adventures went down down there, but most importantly, the attraction were the Tejano artists and the Tejano music, and you were a big part of that uh, spinning music sensation. Actually, thank you, Bobby, for us uh, saying that. We, um, T-Town, I've always called it, I've considered it the Studio 54 of Tejano music because mm-hmm. it was a really classy place. Not taken away from other clubs, but it was very, very special. Uh, back, in, back in the, and I'll call them the T-Town days, Clubs like those, like T Town, we had Club Desperado. Uh, Reflex was in the mix for a while, then That's uh, right. Tejano Rodeo. And these were clubs that were surviving at five nights a week yeah. playing Tejano. It was, uh, it, I tell you what, <clears throat> not only was it an era for making Tejano music famous, uh, the clubs were notorious, man. They were just notorious. A lot of competition for you guys. Definitely, so, definitely. But competition was good. And it, yeah. and uh, the positive thing about competition back in those days were the bands um, got to play. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. nowadays it's tough for the bands to find uh, places to play at. But back in those days, there was plenty of options. That's right, man. And if you didn't find them in your backyard in the garage playing and practicing, boys, they were already at T Town. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got an event coming up, but that it's called T Town Flashback. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. There's been a lot of a lot of throwback parties now, but the flashback this is going to be one you don't want to miss. But here's one that reminds just to, that will remind you pretty much about the T Town days way back in the day. Con uh, Estrella, una Estrella. Definitely, Grupo Estrella was uh, wow. They had a monster hit back in the 90s as the La Unica Estrella. Uh, I think they were with Joey Records, if I remember yeah. correctly, and they had a monster hit called La Unica Estrella. And here it is on the Tejano Classic Radio Show. Hi, this is Ben Miranda with La Fuerza, and you're listening to the Tejano Classic Radio Show. Con los dos Bobs, Bobby Lopez y Bob Prado. It's the Tejano Classic Radio Show. Bobby Lopez, aquí que ustedes. It's uh, Robert Rivas in the hot seat, uh, former disc jockey for uh, T-Town. Uh, just one of the most popular clubs in uh, in San Antonio way back in the day, and uh, you know I I had uh, a throwback, actually a throwback, <laughs> a throwback <laughs> special with uh, Lee Woods, y también uh, Freddy Rodriguez, Er Hernandez, uh, former DJs. Now just about everybody wants to come in on the show. Hector Reyes, Sonny Rio, Bruce Hathaway. Uh, we've got. Just Cleto Rodriguez, uh, Celso Martinez, all these guys, all these DJs that are now doing something else, all want to come on here and say, hey, I still got it, my brother. I I, better, I, I better, maybe I can get Rudy Rocha in here. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, and, and, and that's true, and I think it's a good thing. I think everybody lent a hand on promoting music, on playing the music, and making it as big as it, as it got. Um, I've got special memories of, of what I did. Back in the day, I mean, I started from the little cantinas where they had three bar stools, mm-hmm. one waitress, and um, one pool table, and they had bags of chicharrones, and oh, wow. you know, back in the day, man, that was and 
I kind of built myself up there a little bit, and lo and behold, I landed at T-Town. How about that, man? And so what were you doing before then? Before T-Town, like I said, I was doing the... I just started gigging, man, back in the late 80s. Okay. Um, I, 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 I was introduced to Tejano Music. Really, the first band that I saw live was Moss. Oh, wow. And that blew me away, but uh, the really kicker was one day I, was in, uh, I went to Poteet, Poteet, Texas, ah, hijo. and um, I saw La Sombra performing. Yeah, and Poteet, and I tell you, man, I said, man, Tejano is cool. Where have I been? <laughs> and uh, one of the uh, big, big, big time performers, and still to this day, Emilio Navida, man. When Emilio was playing out of T-Town in San Antonio, Texas, man, you, you just couldn't get in, man. It was a guaranteed just, sellout. That was a done deal. Le. And we were very, very uh, fortunate to where EMI Latin approached uh well they worked with uh, course cakes tm but they approached right. t-town and wanted to use t-town as the venue to record the Emilio live cd oh ah, okay so we took this uh, from uh, out of youtube and you can check that out on youtube this is Emilio performing live at t-town so who's announcing Emilio here um actually they got the joe morales ah, joe morales, uh, joe, morales. Did, did the, uh, joe morales joe morales big he, voice he did the introduction for emilio all right here it is right here and we're going to talk about the t-town flashback coming up next right here on the tejano classic radio show it's the tejano classic radio show buddy lopez saki conoces mi compadre bob prado is on assignment he'll join us on next week's show and robert rivas is here with us to talk a little bit about the t-town flashback in San Antonio, it's all happening uh, August 13th, Saturday, and this is going to be one you don't want to miss. It's all going to happen at the Cadillac Bar, so who have you put together for this? Actually, uh, Bobby, what I did, um, to me, the headliner is T-Town itself. Yeah. The club itself, that's a headliner, so I put, a, I put together a variety of bands just to make it nice and entertaining as well. Uh, headlining will be La Fuerza. Okay. Based out of San Antonio, they were TTMA's most promising band mm-hmm. back in 2005. Man, I mean, that's an ener- energetic band. Yeah, I've seen them play a couple of times. They are. They're very, very, very good. Very good. We have Jorge Alejandro. Oh, also right. been on the scene for quite a while. Also, we have um, Grupo Maravilla, mm-hmm. local band based out of San Antonio. Great to hear some of the classic Tejano songs. Right. Also, we have a... Um, Actually, Miguel Hernandez, who's a, a brand new act. Oh, man, he's hot. But he's been around for a while, actually. Yeah. He comes from the Stephanie Lynn days. Right. He used to play, be the guitar player for Stephanie Lynn. So. And also, we have um, Jeffrey Charles, a country act, who's going to be opening up the, the evening. Are you kidding, man? Jeffrey, he's, he's uh, yeah, that's Texas country, man. That's awesome. That's really, really good. We're excited about having him as well. And also, we have a guy named George Perez, comedian, who's going to tickle your funny bone all okay. night long. Oh, man. So, okay. So, it's uh, T-Town Flashback, Cadillac Bar, Saturday, August 13th. And uh, basically, where is the Cadillac Bar for those people who may be coming in from out of town? The Cadillac Bar actually is located right across the street from the courthouse in oh, downtown yeah. San Antonio. Yeah. So, uh, come on out. This is going to be a great, great night, man. And uh, uh, we're going to talk about how you came up with the idea for the T-Town Flashback and uh, talk about more of the, of your favorites that you played uh, when you were uh, the hot DJ back way back in the day. Oh, yeah. There you so go. Do you still have your turntables? Or get us on. Oh, yeah, brother. I still got them, but not, they've got dust and everything. It's there. And it's funny, man, how times have changed. I remember yeah. it was turntables. Yeah. Then they were, they were a CD, CD players. <laughs> yeah. And now it's computer, man. Now it's, oh, it's virtual man. DJ. Oh, yes. I used to, uh, way back in the day, I used to use cassettes. Wow. <laughs> well, and let me take you further back. My dad still uses his, his uh, eight tracks. Eight tracks. Oh, so there you man, go. There you go. All right. Here's some Gary Hobbs on the Tejano Classic Radio Show. It's the Tejano Classic Radio Show. Bobby Lopez, Saki Cruzes, Robert Rivas. Uh, well, I don't want to say ex-DJ, but he used to be the, the DJ for T-Town, one of the most hottest Tejano clubs in San Antonio. And uh, we are actually here to tell you about a T-Town flashback that's going to be happening Saturday, August 13th at the Cadillac Bar. You don't want to miss that. We gave you the lineup, but if you'd like more information, uh, we're going to tell you where to go on that. But uh, right now, that you know, there's not only that, but I was going to say, uh, what do you have left from T-Town? Do you have any T-shirts, or, or can people buy T-shirts, jackets? What's the story there? Como se dice, Bobby? Other than memories, we're going to have some very uh, nice things to, to be offered there at T-Town Flashback. Uh, okay. We're going to be raffling off an original, and I'm talking brand new, still in plastic, oh, wow. okay. T-Town jacket. That when They were hot items back in the day, and I'm sure it's going to be a great souvenir or great for something to keep around. <laughs> yeah. Memorabilia. Also, T-shirts will be available that evening. Also, we're going to be presenting a slideshow all night long 
with classic pictures from back in the day. Who knows? You might see yourselves <laughs> in one of them pictures. I know. Uh, what the heck did I look like? I had big old funky glasses way back then. Man. <laughs> all, all I know from that from that era is that. We had such a great time. Not only was it an opportunity for, uh, I guess, myself and Prado at the time uh, to meet all the stars, uh, all the people that uh, we played music for, and it was always a joy. And it was, you know, the, the thing about Tea Town, it was, it was like almost up close and personal all the time. You could almost touch them as they were singing. Definitely, and and that is a very true statement. And I gotta say, man. It never failed to where we always used to have um, special guests, special appearances. They would just show up out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. I remember one 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 weekend where we were going to be having the, the Cesar Chavez fight here. Um, oh, okay. I can't remember who he was fighting against. He, there was a Cesar Chavez fight on a Sunday. And lo and behold, that Saturday night, Macho Camacho showed up. Shows up. Oh, my oh, God, man. man. And he had all that bling on him. <laughs> and, 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 and to make it even, even more nicer... Who's on stage? Selena. Hijole. So what does she do? She calls Macho Man up on stage. Oh, no, man. Oh, no. And um, she took away his macho right away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, those are great memories. And, and it was uh, one of the few times that you could really uh, see Selena up close and personal. But she wasn't the star that she was. She was Her star was about rising when she performed the T-Town and stuff. But it was always a sellout crowd. No doubt. No doubt. Uh, she was, um, I got to say, man, you know, um, I can't remember another female artist uh, as of today that would pull people the way she did. And we're talking on her starting her career. I mean, Equally, it was just, man, it yeah. was just phenomenal. It really yeah, was. And uh, those are great memories of all the stars, of all the uh, the Hanna artists uh, way back in the day now who are, you know, they're, they're classics and now they're still moving on in different directions. Now some of their, some of the artists' sons are playing and daughters are singing and stuff like that. It's a whole new generation. But people are learning more about this uh, music called Tejano and it's uh, through the electronic media and if you'd like to know more information about how to get your tickets because you're selling them in pre-sale with that actually yes I am Estes. you can get the, reserve your tables and seats pre-sale just uh, type in Robert Rivas on Facebook you'll catch me there and then from there you can link up to my T-Town group and all the information is on there and you can go ahead and, and uh, purchase your tickets pre-sale through PayPal Hold on, you, you never know, man. Maybe you'll have a Tea Town flashback with some of the artists we've already uh, we've already been playing on the radio right here. So this is a great event. Don't miss it. Tea Town flashback Cadillac Bar, August thirteenth, Saturday night. Be there, and uh, we are going to have ourselves a good time. Robert, thank you so much for coming in, man. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you out there. Bobby, Absolutely. it's great being here on the Tejano Classic Radio Show. Great being with you, and I appreciate you taking the time to put me in here and. Um, let people know about this special event. Okay, let's spin it away. Let's see some of your magic, man. Come on.